good evening and welcome um, high commissioner and uh, all guests community leaders and uh, tamil enthusiasts uh, this this is the greatest occasion that ever 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 could happen to us as a tamil community the, the historic building mahatma gandhi uh, saint thiruvallur they both are just facing each other and uh, gandhi himself said if at all i i born once again i should be born as a tamil to read tirukkural so and with, and with that note i would like to go uh, quickly to introduce you to the tamil share uk project which is a community project owned by all of us uh, and uh, uh, the initial plan was put put forth by few of the volunteers who carefully planned over last four, three or four months but this was been in the talk for more than 4 or 5 years so what's a tamil chair tamil chair is something like a university department or an academic unit established ex exclusively to teach tamil and research tamil and its literature so teach tamil from graduate level to research level and it includes a head, head the university department head a lecturer a research associate and students which means it's like a complete package it's like a, a whole department just like what you see for chinese or japanese or anything so why we need a tamil chair tamils have immigrated to far reaching countries uh, and they started uh, settling down uh, and also tamil learners they seek more educational materials to to understand uh, the literature depth as well as the historic needs and these materials are as rajan and uh, minister es rajan highlighted they are locked up in several university libraries and museums so we need to access them and uh, digitize them and then indeed we need to translate them to english or some common language and and we need to research about them so that's one thing and then tamil as a classical language it's a, it's, it's a language of the world uh, this should be accessible to researchers and learners across the world if someone wanted to learn tamil there should be a place just next to them to learn and then progress not in the elementary level and as a research level as a bachelor's master's as well as a post grad uh, post uh, uh, doctoral level so that's we need a, and, and in addition to that there are a wealth of information scientific information medical information there are wealthy wealthy of informations just hidden inside the palm leaf manuscript form which is which is again there in shelves several shelves that has to be uh, brought out why we need a tamil chair particularly in the uk so tamil was a, a language that flourished in in the uk up until the 1980s uh, so as university of london had their own department Uh, that exclusively teach tamil and uh, they had to stop that program because of funding issues uh, they the uh, so as uh, has created great uh, scholars such as professor john moore stuart blackburn and uh, david shulman uh, tamil department in so as had to close again as i said it's because of the funding issues and reinstating the chair in so as would address the need for tamil that somebody a team of people they will sit together read those old materials propagate it as well as they facilitate scholars across the world to research further scope of tamil chair in the uk so tamil chair uk is as i said it's a small community it's 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 a learner community we are learning at the moment we are identifying all the possibilities exploring uh, universities as well as uh, we are maintaining contact with them and uh, and identifying a framework or a structure that can be then taken to anybody or given to any community that the community can own that project it's it's not that the tamil chair uk will own it it's a community project so we need to understand the risk we need to understand the uh, strategy and there are so many things that need to be debated about it and the best has to be taken out so that's the role of the team it's a diverse community people have volunteered their own time to draft this plan 
So, and, and in addition to that, as uh, Dr. Selvan highlighted, there is a, a Tamil Share movement already in the Harvard, and uh, this uh, Tamil Share UK will definitely create a ripple effect that then will propagate to other, other countries. Maybe it's a Tamil Share in Paris, maybe a Tamil Share in Tokyo, we don't know. So, we would like to be part of that ripple movement and uh, to act as a hub. Uh, particularly UK being center of the world, anybody can come, access the materials. There are plenty and plenty uh, available in SOAS, in British Library, and many, many institutions. So uh, having a tumble chair in the UK will, will, will bring everything, all these tiny dots to uh, one place, which we are really excited. And what are our objectives? Uh, so our, our long-term objective is to set up a permanent chair, a, a permanent Tamil chair in an university and to support the full-fledged Tamil studies throughout that, from, right from early education up until the research level. So to develop a roadmap, we would like to take a baby step, uh, which is a minimum value program. So the immediate demand uh, in University of London is to teach Tamil as a part-time lecturer level. Uh, so we would like to jump into that and then what we will do, we will slowly get involved into the SOAS library to digitize the palm leaf manuscripts. Uh, the, the budget is already provided by the university, so we will be working on that. And then we will make this uh, part-time lectureship as the full-time lectureship and then we will identify a research fellowship. Then that fellowship, they will work with us uh, to create uh, a strategy or a campaign that then will go across the world to explore fund opportunities to establish the chair. And then we will also facilitate Tamil scholars across the world to come together in one place to discuss about uh, Tamil and its future. So what would be the minimum value program? To, to fund a part-time lectureship, the estimated cost provided by the university is 25,000 pounds for one year. So if we could start something tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, the part-time lectureship can be established and Tamil can be taught in SOAS University of London. So we would like to request your help. We, we are really keen on your contribution, how you can contribute, how you can support this project. Just to give you a math, 25,000 would be a higher amount, whereas, if 250 people are willing to donate 100 pounds each, we are done. Tomorrow, we have a Tamil uh, part-time teaching position established in the university. The university is ready. They are keen. If we have the fund, we can start the part-time lectureship from day one, and we can bring the Tamil courses in this year itself. The university is really ready. So I would like to, I would like to conclude with that note. And we will be circulating a, a notebook if you would like to contribute either monitor, monetary wise or through some kind of a part time or, or some hobby hours or any, any resources, skills or anything. If you would like to be part of this prog program, please write your name. We would be very happy. Thank you very much.